Hey, Coach G here, Mind, Body, Soul Shift, your life, health, and wellness coach. Woo, just leaving the gym. First day back of the week. Uh, you know what? I am going to do something different uh, this week. Uh, you know, I've been, <clears throat> excuse me, um, like really encouraging people to get out here and, and get in some physical activity. But I want to do something different this coming week. Um, I want to share... Um, how I got to where I am because I think you know I, I get a lot of uh inboxes text messages emails and and for some reason people think that I have always been where I am right now and um that can't that could not be further from the truth seriously I mean it is it was a struggle to get here where I am uh so what I want to do is I want to share some of those struggles so that way you will know that when you're going through the hard uh, that you can get through the hard um, because you can get through the hard. Um, I was not always here. I was not always in the gym six days a week. I didn't even start off in the gym. Honestly, I, I did not start off going to the gym. Um, I did start walking because I was desperate and I needed to do something. But I'm going to share a lot of uh, the things that I did, a lot of the things that I went through. I'm going to share my mindset at that time, um, what it took for me to get here today um and tomorrow and going forward because um even going forward being where i am um you know there's some days that i just don't feel like coming to the gym i ain't even gonna lie you know it's like you know sundays are um i won't say tough days but after having a day off it can it can be rough uh, but i get here you know i get past the hard um uh, because i keep telling myself i cannot go back going back is not an option i can't do that um my life was threatened uh i was at risk uh for having a massive heart attack or stroke so i refuse to go back to that place so this is my only other alternative is to take care of myself to ensure that i will not go back there but what i'm going to do is i'm going to start sharing my journey because i want you to know that I wasn't always here and yes it was a struggle and sometimes it still is you know so i'm not trying to fake the funk i'm not trying to make you think that it's all that i'm trying to not trying to make you think that you know that hey i got it going on it, mm -mm, no that, that's not the case so uh in the weeks to come i'm gonna start i'm gonna share my journey i'm gonna share from where i started off from the day that i left the doctor's office how i sat in the parking lot and cried because i was so afraid i'm going to share that because i think you need to know that part of this journey you know yeah i can come on and encourage you and push you and 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 um and help you to understand how important this is but i think that when you hear what i actually went through you may have a different perspective of what it takes to get here but i will say this the one thing that kept me in this gym coming to the gym is the results the results that my numbers dropped that my a1c my cholesterol that my blood pressure um diabetes elim i eliminated that that is what keeps me here those results yeah losing 117 pounds was cool don't get me wrong great i'm glad that i lost 117 pounds but that wasn't my motivating factor that that was not the motivating factor for me to get into the gym for me to maintain good health that you know, do I want to be 237 pounds again? No, nope, I don't want to go back to that either. But the most important things are the, my numbers, you know, my A1C, my cholesterol, my blood pressure, um, and then the diabetes. Um, I was determined that I was not going to live with that because I know I didn't have to, regardless of what anyone else said. I've had a panel, a team of doctors to tell me something different. And in my mind, my mindset was, I'm not, I'm just not going to believe that. I believe that I can overcome this. I believe that I can do something different. And guess what? And so can you. I want to talk about the journey. That's what I'm going to talk about the journey. So stay tuned this week because I am going to be sharing the journey from the day that I sat in that parking lot and cried my eyeballs out. <laughs> and then I decided, you know what? Either I'm going to do something or I'm going to die. And it was do or die. So, you know, Stay tuned this week because I am going to really, really dig deep and let you see and unfold. I'm going to peel the onion so you can see that getting to where I am right now and being here and even moving forward, it wasn't an easy task. 
I had to get past the hard. This is Coach G, your life health and wellness coach. Stay tuned this week. Have a great day on purpose.